Okay guys, today I'm going to show you how to make potato bread. So in a bowl, you're going to need about one and a half cups of warm water. And then you're going to do two tablespoons of yeast. You're going to do two tablespoons of buttermilk powder. You're going to do two tablespoons of baking powder. A tablespoon of baking soda, to a half a tablespoon, whatever you feel like. Then I have some mashed potato flakes. So you're gonna add half of a cup of mashed potato flakes. To this, you're gonna add two fourths of a cup of sugar. And then just kind of let it sit there while you put everything away, just to let the yeast start to work. So you're gonna turn your mixer on, and you're gonna add a cup of flour before you add your salt. That way the flour is covering the yeast. And then now let's add a pinch of salt. And then we'll keep adding flour. So this is optional, but I'm gonna add an egg for richness. You do not have to do this step, but you can do it. As you're slowly adding the flour in from this point, you're gonna scrape the sides of the bowl. You're gonna add flour until it comes off the side of the bowl. And then once it comes off the side and it still looks super wet, you're gonna let it knead for five minutes. So it'll come to this point, now let it knead for five minutes. I ended up adding two and a half cups of flour to this, but everybody's will be different. While it's kneading, it's gonna kind of like loosen up from the ball, and that's a good thing. Okay guys, so this has been kneading for five minutes. So this is what it's gonna look like once it's been kneading. And what we're going to do is to get it off the sides of the bowl. See how it sticks to our hands? We're gonna take some flour and dust around it and then get it off of this. Don't put too much flour. Just as much as you think you're gonna need to get it off the bowl. And then you're gonna go around and you should be able to work with it and it should be a little sticky but not so sticky that like you can't get it off of your hands. So, and if you need a little bit more flour when you're working with it, like if it does get a little bit like that, you can always just add a little bit more. Um, but you don't want too much, because then it won't be so airy. But you should be able to at least handle it like this. So now I'm going to get a nether bowl for this to rise in. So, I'm gonna do that. Okay, so just get yourself a pretty big bowl, and then you're gonna put a little bit of oil in it. Whoops, and you're gonna rub the bowl. And then you're going to get your dough ball. And kind of like work it a little bit. And you know you made the dough right when it immediately starts to rise, um, even just a little bit. Now put a tiny bit of um, oil on top, and this is so when it rises, it doesn't stick to the to the surface of the press and seal. Um, so, or towel or whatever you use. I like to use press and seal, you can use a towel. I've done uh, so many different things. Let me get the oil off my hand. Okay, so you're just gonna stick the press and seal on super tight, as tight as you can get it. And you're going to let this rise in your oven. You can either turn your oven on to your lowest setting. I did 150, that's as low as mine goes. Um, or if you have a bread setting, uh, bread proofing setting, you can push that and then push start. Um, or you can just turn the light on. And you're gonna let it rise for at least 30 minutes to an hour. The longer, the better, until it like triples in size, doubles, whatever. So this is what it should look like for its first rise, and you're just gonna punch it down and form it however you wanna form it. Um, I'm gonna form it into little logs for breadsticks. You can do regular bread, um, rolls, anything like that. But you literally just punch it down, kind of work it a little bit, and then you can just take pieces off and roll it. 
I just laid my ball out on a piece of parchment and cut it into little circles. So I just did like half, half, half until it was like an eight, one eighth balls of like that whole dough. And then I took a little flour and rolled it into um, sticks. I'm gonna use the rest of that dough for something else, but I just have my bread sticks in here now. So I'm gonna turn my oven on now to 425. And then when it gets to temperature, I am going to turn it down to 350 till they're cooked all the way through. So if you make these into bread, after you put it in the oven and let it preheat to 450, right when it preheats, you turn it down to 350 until it's cooked all the way through. Um, but just for these bread sticks that I made, um, I just preheated the oven to 450 and by the time that it was preheated, they were already cooked through. So just keep your eye on them for different shapes and different sizes. Um, you, Even if you do rolls, it's always different. But um, that's one thing that I definitely do do to make them come out really good. I just wanted to show you, it's super soft and like not flaky and this is like perfect for if you wanna make sandwiches or something, yum. Okay, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and hit that bell and I hope you like this video.